How do laws affect finance? This has been a significant area of interest for academicians and practitioners. In my thesis, I aim to unravel the effect of an essential facet of law that is creditor rights on the flow of trade credit, institutional investments and willful defaults. My first essay contributes to a trade credit literature by examining the impact of a targeted intervention MSMED Act 2006 and a general intervention IBC 2016 in suppliers enforcement rights on the flow of trade credit. The MSMED Act provides special provisions for micro and small suppliers which acts as a disciplinary mechanism for customers and reduces their collection period. My findings suggest that the positive impact for small suppliers under MSMAD gets reversed post IBC wherein all suppliers enjoy similar enforcement rights. Under an improved creditor rights regime, large and financially unconstrained firms use their bargaining power to avail favorable credit terms from suppliers. My second essay examines the relationship between creditor rights and institutional investment. Institutional investors play a significant role in capital markets, particularly as a disciplinary mechanism to minimize the vertical agency problem between the majority and minority shareholders. My initial findings suggest that the foreign institutional investors reduce their shareholdings while domestic institutional investors increase their shareholdings upon an increase in creditor rights. The behavior of FII corresponds to their information asymmetry in the domestic market and responds to the risk averse behavior of managers upon an increase in creditor rights. The increase in DII shareholdings reflects their information superiority and pressure sensitivity due to business relationships with the investee firms. My third essay examines the role of moral hazard and governance mechanisms at the firm level that affect its probability of becoming a willful defaulter. Willful defaults refer to such cases of default where an entity either defaults even after having the requisite financial capacity to make payments or divert the funds to some other purpose than explicitly stated in the loan agreement. I argue that the nature of willful defaults is fundamentally different from other defaults that may arise from economic or industry downturns. Hence, it becomes essential to analyze the role of a firm's corporate governance mechanisms and regulatory deterrents such as bankruptcy laws in predicting willful defaults. Overall, my thesis provides an empirical investigation into the role of creditor rights on the behavior of firms, institutional investors and willful defaults.